Hey, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for the 23rd, well Wednesday the 23rd of March. And they're as follows, but first a quick recap on another profitable day. I'm getting angry at this, just kidding. Right, one second. Still a long way down for the month, so yeah, I'm not getting ahead of myself. So, 22nd of March, we started with a kitty of 156 pound, 85 pence. We put on 31 pound. We had 57 pound, 14 returns, a profit of 26 pounds and 14 pence, which now takes us up to 182.99. Today's bets will once again cost, once again cost 31 pounds. So let's scroll down to those. Well, first of all, so results for the 22nd. Silkstone um, came fourth, 15 to two. Ran it off the Eastern race at, at every chance. Deeper blue, yes, it ran exactly how I thought it would do. Pressing for the lead, it had to battle to win, but um, won, won readily, to be honest. Riley, I didn't see this race. I'll be honest, I didn't see the race, Riley. Um, I've read the commentary. It looked like it won fairly comfortably. Um, it was my nap of the day. First time I've given out a 9 out of 10 chance. And Game of War, unfortunately, this um, this horse pulled up. Was was never really in the race, but... That was unfortunate, but it was a profitable day, so we can just about manage that. So on to selections for UK racing tips for, sorry, there's a mistake there, for Wednesday, the 23rd of March. And they are as follows. They are to be staked as a 50 pence each way, lucky 15, and £2 each way on each selection. The first selection is light on the wing in the 340 at Fosslas, a 7 out of 10 chance, priced about 6 to 1. Pays four places. This horse will appreciate the quicker ground. Uh, was made favourite last time, surprisingly, after a break. I think it's more suited to today's conditions, and um, I expect a very good run. Lucy Gardner is on board um, for, I believe it's her mum, Sue, Sue Gardner. Equus Miller in the 5.10 at Ludlow. A 7 out of 10 chance, plus about 4 to 1. And that's four places. Sorry, I'll just question it. Now. Yeah, it is four places. The third selection, Howdy Partner, in the 220 at Ludlow, a six and a half out of ten chance, priced about 40 to one, and it's paying three places. Right, I really fancy this horse. The problem is, it's eight runners, and you know what's going to happen come race time. This is going to end up being less, um, which then reduces it to two places. This isn't an extra place race; it's three places. I think this has got a cracking chance of sneaking a place. It ran a belter on its second run over hurdles, uh, only to fall. But th that was in a much better race. And it was still there with, like, two to jump. So uh, I think this is a very interesting horse. And I'm, I'm hoping they don't ride it to a team, um, a handicap mark, because this is its third run over hurdles. I'm hoping they actually ride a proper race on it. Um, it needs to be probably... Chase leaders without pressing leaders and then hopefully challenging um, with like three to jump. What I don't want to see, I don't want to see it sat, sat last. And finally, Fontana Elise in the 440 at Ludlow. A 7 out of 10 chance, price up at 72 and once again three places. Another one will, that will benefit from um, the quicker ground. It has ran well on softer ground but when... It's early days for Twist and Davis, now with Samuel Drinkwater. Under Twist and Davis, it has some really decent form on good, and even a bit of glim uh, a glimpse of promise on good to firm ground. Well, the ground now, after a few days, is quicker than like anything. So, I do think we'll, we'll see some horses that are favoured for soft ground being overturned. And I think the horses that I've gone for, especially today, will improve for the better conditions. Anyway. If you can give me a like and a subscribe, I very much appreciate it. It, it does really help. Apparently, Google shows it, uh, sorry, YouTube shows it to more people if you like it. Subscription always helps because it, do, it makes sure that you don't miss a video. Anyway, the best of luck. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Charlie Winters, over and out.